Hello everybody, Spotted Gecko here again, bringing you another video for the game World of Warships Legends. Today, I have a quick guide for you. This is the uh, Japanese Tier 5 carrier, the Roryu. Uh, this is the test carrier for the test event for Airstrike. I have to say, this does look a lot better. Anyways, now for this... Um, for this quick guide, we're just going to look at the ship stats, the, pre the um, upgrade slots, as well as the consumables, the armor viewer, and we'll look at the commander of choice for this ship, and we'll just have a good little overview of what this ship is like for the Tier 5 airstrike test event for the Japanese carrier. Now, right off the bat, we're going to be starting off with the photo mode. And right off the bat, I like the looks of this carrier a lot more than the Tier 3 Hosho. This looks more like a carrier. Now, I'm not sure. I think this carrier was still built by the looks of it off of a battleship or whatever uh, hull. And they simply added the uh, four structure for the carrier flat top and all to it. It wasn't specifically built to be a carrier right off the bat. Either way, it still does look good and it's unique to the uh, Japanese carriers, which are pretty cool. Plus, we get access to better torpedo bombers and uh, better uh, dive bombers with this version at Tier 5 even though these carriers are still underpowered. Okay, let's first look at the upgrade slots. Do we get five of them here? We're going to start off, and we're going to focus basically all on the flight stuff. So right off the bat, secondary battery mod, or do you go for the flight control? I'm doing flight control mod for aircraft preparation rate. I think that's important. Uh, the second one here, we're going to go air group mod number two, giving us a little more HP pool for our dive bombers and torpedo bombers. And for the, uh, the ship itself, Aircraft, the Nakajima uh, B5N1 Kate. Nice ship, and this thing's got speed. This is definitely faster aircraft than the USS uh, Ranger has. I think the Rangers are only at 140. This has 155 knots, so you can get to your target a lot quicker. And they have a max torpedo damage, which is even higher than the, than the Rangers. This is at 6,500. Really, really nice. <clears throat> For the... Uh, Actually, uh, D3A1s, these dive bombers, uh, 159 knots. They are quicker than the uh, the Rangers. Really nice. Now, for the actual hull, 43,000 base. That's uh, that's a pretty nice hull damage. However, I got the ra we might get this up a little higher. We'll have to have a look. Okay, so that is the actual upgrade slots. Now, if we look at the stats for the ship, survivability, 43,000 hull, and practically no armor. Aircraft, torpedo bombers are those Nakajimas, the Kates, really, really nice. I like those aircraft. They're quick and make for a really, really nice uh, torpedo bomber there. Looking forward to that. And note this, the USS Ranger only has like 38 knot speed on their torpedoes. That is, that's abysmally slow. These things are 50 knots. So that is much better. You're, you're getting up to like um, Italian torpedoes in this one here from the Italian cruisers. So they got Italian cruiser torpedo speed, which is pretty good. <laughs> now the dive bombers, the uh, D4Y2s, 61% chance of setting fires. Beautiful. Already this Ryu ship is so much better than the, uh, the USS uh, um, uh, Ranger so far. Now the artillery here, Six dual 127s with, uh, let's say, reload times of five seconds. Basically, if any ship gets close to you, your ship is basically dead. Okay, maneuverability, 28 knots. This thing is bloody slow. Turn circle's better than Ranger. It's at 770. Rudder shift is uh, worse than the Ranger at 13.4. Concealment, 9.5 and 7.6. Those are pretty good concealment numbers for this Japanese carrier. Armor, like I mentioned, the thing has no armor whatsoever. Citadel sits way, way up there. It's got a lot of green in there. One salvo from a battleship will probably take this out. And uh, basically anything's going to kill this ship when it gets close enough with its guns. So basically, you want to keep it away from other ships. Overview of this ship, it's got stealthy aircraft. Aircraft with good concealment. It's got fast aircraft, as I mentioned. Yes, it does. Above average speed, it does. It's much quicker than the U.S. Uh, Devastators and Vindicators. It's got feeble aircraft, though, uh, with below average HP pool, whereas the U.S. Rangers, Devastators, and uh, Vindicators do have more staying power. Now, this aircraft carrier was built under restrictions of the Washington Naval Treaty of 1922, owing to a double-deck hangar. 
She could carry an impressive air group despite her limited displacement. Her drawbacks were low survivability and the small size of her flight deck, which hampered takeoff and landing for squadrons. What they really should have done by the looks of it is they really should have extended that, air, that uh, flight deck all the way to the bow of the ship. I think that was probably an engineering flaw. Anyways, entered service in 33, and yeah, only one of these were built because of that, probably. Okay, now let's move out. Let's have a quick look at the uh, consumables, which is our aircraft on board. We talked about them briefly, and we got the HE bombers. Uh, they do have, re they're really quick, 159 knots, way faster than the Rangers' uh, uh, aircraft. 58 second restoration time. They can only have 10 aircraft on deck. And uh, maximum bomb damage, though. Look at that, 8,200. That's not bad. Fire setting chance, 61%. That's really, really good. That's incredibly good, actually. Now, if we look at our torpedo bombers, the Cates, well, you know what? They're quick, too. 155 knots. They have really good quick torpedoes so far, 50 knots. And like I mentioned, that's as quick as Italian uh, uh, torpedoes on the Italian cruisers. So that's really good. <laughs> okay. And we also have patrol fighters. So you can patrol the area and automatically attack enemy aircraft. You can always call them to you, which is nice to have. And we do have uh, fighter consumables, of which we have four. Always great to have those. They really do help out your ship. And you got to use utilize them just at the, not these ones, but you really got to utilize the park patrol fighters at optimum times. All right. Now let's move out of there and uh, have a look at the um, the commander, which is... Yamaguchi. We'll look at Yamaguchi again. Now, we have Yamaguchi set up already. Uh, we're focusing because I would love to use Tanaka to get additional torpedo damage, but that's something that doesn't work right now, is what Wargaming was saying. So I'm removing Tanaka as one of my inspirations, and I'm just going to put Sims and Hyde on here just to give my carrier some more hull damage. All right. Now, the base trait of um, Yamaguchi here is uh, Typhoon, giving us a better AA per second. And as we know, we've also got swatting at flies running here, which is kind of nice. We've also got one-way ticket for extra torpedo damage, which is really nice. And I like the torpedoes, so we got the hidden threat, giving us better detectability of torpedo bombers. And torpedo bombers' HP goes up by 12%. Thank you for that. And we got burn, baby burn, which is our dive bomber stuff here for additional 6% on HE bombs and... Additional six, uh, three percent to HE bomb damage, and we're legendary. We're going with we are legion. Incoming damage to my aircraft is reduced, etc. So that's Yamaguchi, and that's something that we're going to have to be. We'll be able to obviously get a hold of eventually, and we're going to have to basically use all our promotion orders and inspirations to get them up in to half decent levels for these carrier commanders. But that looks pretty good. All right, now I have taken out the um, the uh, Royu in a. In a couple of battles, and I really like the torpedo bombers. Uh, I basically I like both aircraft more on the Japanese aircraft carrier than I do on the uh, USS Ranger. Mind you, I think the USS Ranger looks a lot better, and it certainly does have some great AA capabilities on that ship. Other than that, we all know the Ranger is built specifically as a carrier from the uh, hull up, whereas this ship is uh, built from a basically a uh, a cruiser or a battleship hull, and they put that on top of it. But you can see the flight deck's a little too short on it. Anyways, well, there you have it, guys. That is my um, my little quick guide to the uh, the U.S. Uh, not the U.S. the Japanese uh, Tier Five uh, carrier for the airstrike test event, and it's an enjoyable carrier to play. Those aircraft are much faster, and I'll tell you, the torpedo bombers on here are a real joy to play. Anyways. There you have it, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the airstrike event in this quick guide. If you did, uh, please give me a, uh, a like. I'd appreciate that. And, of course, it'd be wonderful if you would subscribe for uh, future videos on my channel for World Warships Legends. Other than that, this is Spotted Gecko Gamer, and I'll see you next time.